Are you wondering whether it's the right time to make a move with Google stock? Today, we're delving deep into the world of Google. Our initial report, which caused quite a buzz, was released on our website just a few days ago. But now, we're here to give you an even more comprehensive analysis that will leave you hanging on to every word. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay in the loop with our latest insights. We don't want you to miss out on any game-changing updates that could have a significant impact on your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our revolutionary new tool, the AI Stock Analysis Tool powered by GPT-4. Head over to stockinvest.us to unlock the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analyses for over 25,000 companies worldwide. Remember that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be mistaken for financial advice. Welcome back. Today, we have some exciting news about Google's stock performance. Our system has been closely monitoring Google since September 21, 2023 and it has ranked it as a sell candidate, with a score of minus 1.99. But here's the interesting part, Google has defied our predictions and performed better than expected. It has actually gained a remarkable 1.43% during this period. That's right, an average daily return of 0.24% since it was listed as a sell candidate. Brace yourself for an exciting revelation. This stock is currently riding a powerful upward trend in the short term, indicating even more growth on the horizon. Hold on tight as we dive into the numbers. The current three-month trend predicts a potential 13.38% change over the next three months, with a potential return ranging from 10.62% to a whopping 20.24%. But wait, there's more. The 12-month trend suggests an impressive 52% change over the next year, with a potential return ranging from an exciting 34.66% to an astonishing 60.54%. Imagine the possibilities. This could mean a price range of $178.17 to $212.41 after a year. Welcome back to our latest update on Google stock. Brace yourself for some exciting news. It was a green day for Google on Thursday, as the stock gained an impressive 1.36%. Let's dive into the details. On the last trading day, which was Thursday, September 28, 2023, Google's stock price soared from $130.54 to $132.31. That's a significant increase. Throughout the day, the stock experienced some fluctuations, reaching a low of $129.79 and a high of $133.30. It's always interesting to see how the market behaves, right? Interestingly, in the past 10 days, the stock has fallen six times, resulting in a decrease of minus 4.19% overall. However, we have some positive news. The volume of shares traded on the last day was higher than before, indicating a positive technical sign. In fact, there were 410,000 more shares traded compared to the previous day. In total, a whopping 22 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to approximately $2.88 billion in trading value. That's a huge number. Now, let's take a look at the bigger picture. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price Google stock reached was $139.16, while the lowest price was $83.34. Currently, the stock is trading at a price that is 4.92% below the 52-week high. That's a difference of $6.85. But wait, there's more. It's also important to note that Google's stock is currently trading at a staggering 94.6% below its all-time high. Can you believe it? On June 14, 2021, the stock reached an all-time high of $2,448.92. That's quite a milestone. Get ready for some exciting news about analyst ratings. In a recent report on Wednesday, August 30, 2023, Citigroup gave Google a buy grade with a hold action. But that's not all. Another influential analyst, KeyBank, also chimed in on Wednesday, August 30, 2023, giving Google an overweight grade with a hold action. Let's go back a bit to Wednesday, July 26, 2023, when Needham expressed their positive sentiments by giving Google an overweight grade with a hold action. And it doesn't stop there. 
Needham also gave Google a buy grade with a hold action on the same day, July 26, 2023. It seems like KeyBank is quite bullish on Google too, as they also gave it an overweight grade with a hold action on Wednesday, July 26, 2023. Are you considering investing in Google stock? Well, here's what the analysts have to say. Brace yourself, because they're giving Google stock a resounding buy rating. In fact, they're so confident in its potential that they rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and the price to book as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have a slightly more cautious stance, giving the stock a neutral rating. Are you ready for some interesting insights on Google stock? Let's dive in. Today, the Google stock is showing mixed signals. The short-term moving average suggests a buy signal, but the long-term average leans towards a sell signal. With the long-term average above the short-term average, the overall forecast for the stock is negative. If the stock continues to rise, it might encounter resistance at $132.82 from the long-term moving average. On the other hand, if it falls, there might be some support at $130.99 from the short-term average. Breaking above the long-term average would indicate another buy signal, while falling below the short-term average would strengthen the sell signal. Pay attention to a sell signal that was issued on Monday, September 18, 2023, from a pivot top point. Since then, the stock has fallen by minus 4.27%. It suggests a further decline until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, is currently showing a sell signal. Interestingly, the volume is rising along with the price, which is considered a positive technical signal. Are you ready to discover some fascinating signals? Let's start with the moving average convergence divergence, which is showing a sell signal. Pivots have also indicated a sell signal nine days ago. On the other hand, the Bollinger Bands have given a buy signal three days ago. The short-term moving average is pointing towards a buy signal two days ago. However, the long-term moving average is indicating a sell signal seven days ago. Additionally, the relationship between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal three days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart and analyze the signals. The short moving average is suggesting a sell signal eight days ago. On the contrary, the long-term moving average has given a buy signal 138 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages shows a buy signal 133 days ago. Exciting, isn't it? If you want to explore more signals, head over to our page at stockinvest.us. Are you ready to dive into the exciting world of Google stock? Let's explore the support, risk, and stop loss levels for this tech giant. Brace yourself. Google has found support from accumulated volume at an impressive $129.78. This level not only provides stability but also holds a golden buying opportunity. When the support is put to the test, get ready for an upwards reaction that can potentially bring in substantial gains. If you're worried about the risk factor, fear not. Google is known for its high trading volume and minor daily changes, which ultimately leads to lower risk. In fact, the stock experienced a mere $3.51, 2.7%, difference between its high and low in the last day. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 2.11%. Welcome back. Before we jump into the exciting world of trading levels for Google, let's quickly go over some essential fundamental data that you need to know. First off, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio is crucial as it measures how the current share price of a company compares to its per share earnings. Now, what's interesting about Google is that it has a relatively normal P-E ratio, which is often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. So, we can expect some stability in its stock performance. But here's something intriguing. When we compare Google's P-E ratio with the average P-E ratio of its sector, we can uncover some fascinating insights. Stay tuned for that. Now, let's move on to the next exciting piece of news. The eagerly awaited earnings report for Q3 2023 is just around the corner, expected on October 24, 2023. 
Analysts' consensus estimates are projecting earnings of $1.45. This is a significant number to keep an eye on as it can have a substantial impact on the stock prices. So, mark your calendars. Are you ready to uncover the potential day trading levels for Google? Get ready for some exciting insights. Picture this, an upward trend for Google. The first resistance level stands strong at $132.58. Hold your horses if you don't own any shares. Wait for this level to be breached before making your move. But if you're already in the game, this could be the perfect opportunity for swing trading. But what about the downside? Brace yourself, because Google encounters its first support level at $129.78. Hold on tight. If this support level holds, it could be your golden ticket to enter the market and anticipate a rebound. Hey there! Are you curious about Google's stock ratings? Well, hold on tight because we've got some exciting insider trade information for you. Get ready to dive into the world of Google's recent insider trades. On September 28, 2023, Arnold Francis made a surprising move by selling off 240 shares of Class C capital stock. And guess what? On September 25, 2023, Walker John Kent had a busy day selling 7,112 shares of Class C Google stock units. But that's not all. Walker John Kent went even further and sold 6,993 more shares of Class C Google stock units on the same day. Hold your breath. Walker John Kent went all out and sold a whopping 23,496 shares of Class C Google stock units too. However, amidst all the selling frenzy, Walker John Kent also made a surprising insider buy of 35,801 shares of Class C capital stock. Now, let's analyze the insider power. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated it to be negative with a ratio of minus 91.396. And here's the overall picture. Insiders purchased a total of 335,692 shares, while selling a staggering 7,235,465 shares in the last 100 trades. Hold on tight, folks. We've got some concerning news about this stock and it's not looking good. Brace yourselves because no stop loss has been set. Are you ready to take on the world of trading? But hold on a second. Before you jump in, we want to remind you about the risks involved. Losing money is a possibility, so it's crucial to seek guidance from a financial advisor. We're here to help, but remember, we're not the ultimate decision maker. You should never solely rely on stockinvest.us for your investment choices. It's your responsibility to evaluate the information and make informed decisions. Let's dive in, but with caution. We're about to reveal our current view of the stock. Are you ready? Get ready to join the conversation by commenting below and sharing your thoughts. What's your target for this stock? Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting trading insights. Get ready for a successful trading journey and enjoy a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.